Today we will introduce how to process data with PPK. First we need to create a new SLAM project, select the path where the project file is saved. Import the bag file via the project wizard. The platform can be auto by default, or selected based on the collection mode. Here need to check the process GNSS box. We choose differential GNSS as GNSS process mode, then add the log file for the rover station. Our software supports three base station files, today we choose Rhinex format, import the O file, it will automatically load the other files. We have three options for location mode, from header, is to read the information from the base station's header file. Manual, we need to manually set the north and east coordinates of the base station, ellipsoid height and antenna height. Or we can select from favorites if we have saved the common base station locations. Now we choose manual. After manually entering the base station information, we can save it to favorites. Then click next. For target coordinate system, the software defaults to the WGS84 coordinate system. If the acquisition is in another coordinate system, we can set it using filter. We'll pick one at random. Click next. Select the path where the camera file is located if we need to colorize the point cloud. Click next and finish. When processing data with PPK, DGNSS is checked. Click start. Processing is completed, click close. We can see that this point cloud is in absolute coordinates. In the SLAM process module, we can have the GNSS report. Click on it, we can check the post-processing differential GNSS quality, number of satellites participating in GNSS, float and fixed state, DOP plot, height profile plot, velocity profile plot etc.